I think the reading stack may get. So I'm telling you how you can recognize it. It's a sloth here. Shaggy hair and my muzzles pointed out it. Nose and mouth. Yes, this is the recognition. And after that, uh, hard to reach areas. It's difficult. She's not that difficult for this deer to reach difficult places to get its food. Right? And it is main food is termites. Termites are the small insects. So basically, it feeds that. Right? And sometimes uh, veggies also, but they are not mentioned in the chat. Yeah. So this is the recognition of sloth beer. Now you have heard of people bringing home uh, dogs and cats and such kind of animals, but we have never seen anybody bringing home a beer, a cub. What do, what do we call the young one of the beer? Cub. Lions ki young ones to be cub. You used to do it in class first or second, I guess. Names of young ones. So beer cub was brought home by the author. Firstly, he was in a group, but he had empathy for the beer. They tried to kill this beer also, which was found during the burning. But anyhow, it was saved. And author thought I should, you know, uh, try to bring this cup with me only. My wife will be very happy. So he gifts this uh, cup to his wife, and wife was very happy. She was animal lover, and she named this. Uh, the way we treat our children. In Christianity, you know, there is a, a custom of naming ceremony. This one called uh, the baby is christened now. In which, what does it mean? They take the child to the church. Right? Baptism bhi bol dete usko. And jaisi anho pe aap kete na, naming ceremony in Hindu. Right? Similarly, uh, they take the baby to the church. Right? And properly, the father of the church, the head priest, and all, they do some ceremonies. And after that, naming ceremony is the name of the child. And it means now that child has been christened and he can go to church. Right? And he is the part of that system. Right? So, this is the holy ceremony of Christian people. So she was so fond of this uh, young beer, this beer cup. She took proper ceremony she did for this cup also. So she would be naming him after proper ceremonies, the way we conduct for baby. So she named this beer as Bruno or Baba. Now when a, an animal is young enough, you can carry it easily, you can you know, shower their love and all. But this is a wild animal. You tell me, do we keep wild animals at home? No. Obviously, we do not keep wild animals. So when it will be turning out to be a big, huge, bad deer, problem will come at that time. That I'm not going to disclose to you all. Obviously, that will make the story more interesting. So they have started taking care of the Bruno, that uh, little cub, sloth deer. And deer is also very friendly with them. So, so in coming back to the theme, be kind towards animals. In the beginning, we are seeing how they were trying to force and kill the animals. Hunting should be should not be allowed. Animals do have emotions like this. If we say, you know, we people are scared of animals. Similarly, when animals react, we have seen that we are scared of dogs. Okay, the dog is going to bite me, uh, and the animal may be monkeys attack something. They are actually scared of us. The way we are getting scared from them, they are scared of us because they have had previous experiences in the past which were not good with the human beings. They are scared of human beings. So that's why they behave like that. Sit down. Uh, love is reciprocal. Sit down. Love is reciprocal means it is give and take. Fine. If you give love to animals, animals will definitely give you back up the more love. So this is reciprocal, definitely. You have seen those who are having dogs at home raise your hand. Have you seen when you reach back home? How do they react? You tell someone. What is the way of the dog to express the love? No, they jump upon the uh, person who's keeping, they wag their tail. 
Have you seen the wedding is so fast at that time? That is a way of sit down. That is a way of expressing the love. You jump into your lap. They start licking you. Why they do not bite you? See, teeth are still there. Sharp teeth are still there, but they lick you at that time. And they keep on wagging. They keep on running here and there. I remember my dog. Right now, I'm not having. But I was having two dogs. The way they used to react. The love is reciprocal. I'm trying to make you understand that. Yes, Bridget. You want to change? Yes, Peter. Yes, you can go there. Don't talk to Jerry, please. He's not responding to you. That is interruption in the chapter. Clear? Yeah? So love is reciprocal. You got. We love them. They love you back. Clear? Yeah? That's it. Animals never forget love and care shown to them. They do remember. Even suppose, okay, I have given you the example of the pets at home. They are pets. They are being loved. They are taken care. That's why right. you treat the street dog. You are having dogs in your streets. Both of you. You start giving a, a bread piece or roti or whatever they like to eat on daily basis. These kids are not good for them. That's why I'm not sure. So give them one on daily basis, and. They will remember you. You pass by. They will never ever bark at you in a negative way. If they bark at you, that is they are demanding something from you. They also wag tail at you. Similarly, cows, other pet animals, cats, even you try to show your love to them. Definitely, they will reciprocate the love in a in abundance. I must say, we give ten percent, they give hundred percent. So that is animal. So animals are far better than humans. We cheat; they do not cheat, right? So animals never forget love and care. So this chapter is going to teach us that only. Clear? I can see even when you talk, you very low voice. Yes, please. So we will start reading. Okay, I can ask any one of you to continue reading from anywhere. Online children, am I clear to you all? Send me your feedback. Otherwise, you are absent. Yes, Divya Madhvi Pradhis, Harman Preet, Harmeet Kaur, Kathi, Riyanshika, Titiksha, Ridhima. Raghav Kumar, are you there? Raghav Kumar. So let's continue now. Can there be love and friendship between human beings and wild animals? Let's read a fascinating. Account of an orphaned sloth deer that was rescued by the author. Orphaned means do not have parents, right? Anath, this problem is not there. So uh, that deer cub is orphaned. He does not have parents, and you know when young animals they do not know where to go, that is more troublesome. So we will be reading a fascinating, attractive uh, account of orphaned sloth deer. And he was rescued by the author. Saved, rescued means saved by the author. Keep on writing the meaning letter. That will be very easy for you during the chat. Sloth deer inhabit forested areas. Inhabit means they are resident of where do they live. Basically, wild animals live in forests only. So, including the tropical rainforests of India. So, specifically. You know, particular animals are found in particular forests. So, tropical rainforests may be either and grasslands at lower elevations. Sloth deers have very shaggy hair. Shaggy means untidy. Shaggy ko underline karo, untidy. U n t i d y. And long muzzles. Underline the word muzzles. Write down nose and mouth. Underline the word muzzles. Write down. Nose and mouth. Using their claws to dig, they can use their lips to form a tube, which can go deep into the ground or into hard to reach areas like dead trees for their food. So they are telling that they here are very untidy, shaggy, right? And it is very easy for them to dig the ground because of the shape of their mouth and nose. And it's very easy for them to reach dead trees for their food. Their main food is termites. Underline termites. 
small insects. Spelling should be correct. Is this is the basic food of these bears. Small insects. I have written spelling in the book. You can see. Small insects. You can hear them suck up their food from several feet away. Means they are very noisy when they eat. Some animals they eat, we do not, you know, feel the noise. When they eat, they produce a lot of noise while eating. Clear? Yeah? So this is the basic introduction of sloth bear. Now we will read the chapter. I will begin with Bruno, my wife's pet sloth bear. I got him for her by accident. So author is going to narrate this story himself. So he's going to begin how he got Bruno by accident, that sloth bear by accident, and now he's pet of his wife. Two years ago, we were passing through the sugarcane fields near Mysore. People were driving away the wild pigs from the fields by shooting at them. Some were shot and some escaped. We thought that everything was over and when suddenly a black sloth bear came out panting in the hot sun. So here we stand for author and other group of friends. Clear? So author was going somewhere near Mysore in the sugarcane fields. They were in the wild area and along with his friends, they were shooting the wild animals. So on the way, they got many pigs. They kept on shooting and killing them. Fine? With guns, obviously. This is not camera shooting. So many uh, animals were, uh, uh, you know, killed. But suddenly the thought, and many of them were escaped also, they ran away, pigs especially. So, but by a chance, a sloth bear came in front of them. Panting means breathing heavily. When you run and you are out of your breath, you know. Panting here means breathing heavily. B-R-E-A-T-H-I-N-G. Heavily. H-E-A-T-E-L-Y. So, B-I-L-Y. So uh, now I will not shoot the sloth bear wantonly, but unfortunately for the poor beast, one of my companions did not feel that way about it and promptly shot the bear on the spot. So author said, I will not shoot this bear. Wantonly is like, there is no good reason. Wantonly, wanton act is without any reason. If you are doing something without any reason, that is a wanton act. W A N T O N. Wanton act is to go with it. If you are going to go to the house, you can go to the house. That is a wanton act. You do that. I've seen many of you. Wanton acts, fine. This is fine. So, like the example I've shown you. Yeah. So, uh, he's saying that I won't kill wantonly. But his friend, without any you know, second thought, he shot that sloth deer. As we watched the fallen animal, we were surprised to see that the black fur on its back moved and left the prostrate body. Prostrate, the meaning is written in front of the word only, lying on the ground facing downward. So that deer face down, right, is lying on the ground. Yes, beast is a wild animal. Right? Beast means wild animal. Poor, just you are having sympathy with the child and that. Right? So then we saw when it was shot by the author's friend, it fell on the ground, lying downwards, facing downwards. When then we saw it was next page with us. It was baby bear that had been riding on its mother's back. When the sudden shot had killed her, the little creature ran around its prostrate parent making a pitiful noise. So actually, they were not able to perceive it was not one bear. It was a mother bear and bear cub was riding on it. So they killed the mother. Mother was shot dead. The cub fell down and it started producing pitiful sounds. So we can relate. They do have parents, so that cub was with his mother only. So they thought we have killed the bear, and they were surprised to see mother was killed 
baby bear was saved right so a little creature ran around its prostrate parent prostrate the parent uh, mother which was lying on the ground right making a pitiful noise i ran up to it to attempt to ca capture it scooted into the sugar cane tree scooted means ran away meaning is written only so it we try to author try to catch the baby bear or the cub but it ran away following it with my companions i was at last able to grab it by the skirt underline the words scrub scrub back of the neck scrub is back this is the scrub and back of the neck online children am i clear back of the neck ठीक है जो बैक होता है आपका नेटवर्क ऐसे उसने कैप्चर कर लिया डियर तो दे वर रनिंग विद ऑल द फ्रेंड्स फॉर रनिंग टू कैच दैट डियर कप फाइनली विद द हेल्प ऑफ इट्स फ्रेंड्स दे कैप्चर इट व्हाइल इट स्नैप्ड एंड ट्राइड टू स्क्रैच मी विद इट्स लॉन्ग हुक्ड क्लॉज हुक्ड क्लॉज नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय हुक्ड क्लॉज इट्स लाइक दिस राइट हुक्स देखिए आपने तो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड हुक्ड क्लॉज शेप इनवर्स right so uh, this bear tries to snap and it wanted to run away it started scratching the hands of the author because it knew that they have killed the mother and they can kill him also so it wanted to run away okay we put it in one of the gunny bags gunny bags now uh the cheap bag jo hota hai brown color ke hote hain sack hote hain ko ya fir bori of pen so it was captured from the neck and put inside gunny bags and they got hold of the bear anyhow then i got back to bangalore now underline this word you have to remember where does the author live bangalore. so he came back to bangalore now it is known as bangalore right otherwise it was known as bangalore only I duly presented it to my wife. She was delighted. She was so happy. She at once put a coloured ribbon around its neck, and after discovering the cub was a boy, she christened it Bruno. I told you, christened that uh, naming ceremony, that religious ceremony. Underline the word christened, naming ceremony to make a person member of church. Underline the word Christian naming ceremony to make a person member of the church. Naming ceremony to make the person make a person member of the church. Fine. So she found that it's a baby boy, a cub boy cub. So she named it Baba and Bruno. She put a ribbon around its neck. You should know what did she do exactly. Remember it. Bruno soon took to drinking milk from a bottle. She started feeding it with a bottle the way we feed babies, and Bruno started drinking it also. It was but a step further, and within a very few days, he started eating. Human babies they do not eat immediately after few days. They take six months semi-solid, and then after nine, ten months they start solids. But this is not same in each and every creature. Bear cubs they do drink for few days. after that it started eating and drinking everything else whatever they were eating and everything is the right word why underline this what was the food of that bear he ate porridge made from any ingredients porridge is for uh you have to eat grain ka bana hua porridge and it can be vegetable porridge wheat porridge fine whatever underline ingredients vegetable fruits nuts meat especially pork curry rice regardless of condiments and chilies condiments means spices chahe jo spices hai ya nahi hai whatever they were eating the bear was eating too ha dalia jisko bol raha hu bread eggs chocolates sweets pudding the ice cream etc 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 and as for drink milk tea coffee lime juice aerated water buttermilk beer alcoholic liquor 
and in fact anything liquid it all went down with relish so he would relish relish means enjoy enjoyment he would relish he would enjoy each and every meal its owners were enjoying fine so whatever author was eating his wife was eating he was eating too uh it had beer liquid things this tea and all the substances comes under here right so these thank you i'm not giving the translation version of each and every word okay so all these things but ever they were eating and drinking he was eating and drinking too shall i continue we will complete this page i guess the beer became very attached to our two alsatian dogs and to all the children of the tenants lying in our bungalow now coming back to after the dive we are discussing the relation he was having with the kids in the house and in the neighborhood so he was very attached to other animals also they were having two alsatian dogs the alsatian is the breed once again i'm telling you alsatian dogs are very big you know height is this much they very large in their bodies so two alsatian dogs were there in author's family beer was getting along with them in a very good way okay and also to all the children of tenants in their bungalow they had tenants also so tenants were also living and the beer was having good relation with the tenants also clear yeah? tenants and with dogs also and then after that he was left quite free in his younger days and spent his time in playing running into the kitchen and going to sleep in our bed so as a baby beer as a pup he was relishing food playing jumping sleeping with them in the bed the way we you know raise a dog so no difference was they just like, uh, like other family members he was relishing right one day now one accident uh, accident does not mean a road accident accident is any mishap any mishap so you you need to remember what are the different uh, accidents in the life of that beer one day an accident befell him befell him means happened to him i put down poison that is barium carbonate to kill the rats we'll continue tomorrow okay with the very much